the first example here says a model car has a length of 12 centimeters. The scale of the model is 1 to 40. So that means for every one centimeter on the model car, there are 40 centimeters in real life. So all the dimensions of the real car are 40 times smaller in the model car, on the model car. We need to find the real length of the car when we know that the model car has a length of 12 centimeters. So for every one centimeter on the model, there are 40 centimeters in real life. So for the length of the car, there's 12 centimeters on the model. So what is that? So what's the equivalent ratio? What is that in real life? So we need to multiply by 12. So to go from 1 to 12, we multiply by 12. So we need to do 40 times 12. For every 1 centimetre, there are 40 centimetres. We've got 12 centimetres. So it's 12 times 40. 12 times 4 is 48. Add on the zero. So we've got 480 centimetres. So the real length of the car is 480 centimetres. And if we wanted to write it in metres, we would divide by 100. 100 centimetres make one metre. So we would divide by 100 and get 4.8 metres. We weren't asked to, but we could be in a question. And a question for you to try. So give this one a go. A model of a building has a height of 40 centimetres. The scale of the model is 1 to 500. So every 1 centimetre on the model represents 500 centimetres in real life. Find the real height of the building. So every 1 centimetre is 500 centimetres in real life. So 40 centimetres in the model is going to be 40 times 500 in real life. So 4 5s are 20, and we've got three zeros. So we have 20,000 centimetres. If we wanted to write that in metres, we divide by 100. So it's 200 metres tall. Here's another question. So we've got an accurate scale drawing of a rectangular field. So there's a field here. The real length of the field is 40 meters. What's the real width of the field? So we can measure our lengths here. Measure the length, measure the width. So we've got eight centimeters along. So on the model, we've got eight centimetres and we could use that to work out a scale. So we could say eight centimetres on our drawing is 40 metres in real life. So if we divide both of these by eight, we can find that one centimetre on our drawing is five metres in real life. So every one centimetre on this drawing is going to be five metres in real life. So if we spin this around and measure the height of the rectangle, the width, it's, it's four centimetres. So if we have four centimetres on the drawing, so every one centimetre is five metres, so 4 times 5 is 20 metres. So we divide it by 8. And we times by 4. We could have, if we measured them both first, said it's 8 centimetres and 4 centimetres. So the width is half the length. So it must be half of 40, it must be 20 in real life. 
we could have gone straight to the answer if we had done it that way around. And one for you to try. So give this a go. We have two boxes. A small box has a real height of 30 centimeters and we need to find the real height of the large box. So let's measure the heights. So our small box has got a height of two centimeters. So two centimeters on our drawing is 30 centimeters in real life. So two centimeters on our drawing is 30 centimeters in real life. So if we half them both, we can find one centimeter in the drawing is 15 centimeters in real life. And the second box is three centimeters tall. So three centimeters, every one centimeter is 15 centimeters in real life. So three 15s make 45 centimeters. So the box is 45 centimeters tall. Here is another example. So we've got a drawing showing two towns, town A and town B. The scale is one to 50,000 and we need to find the real distance. So we need to measure the distance. What distance do we have? So I'm gonna say that's 5.8 centimeters. So 5.8 centimeters between them on the drawing. And the real distance is going to be 50,000 times as much. So every one centimetre on our drawing is 50,000 centimetres in real life. So we do 5.8 times 50,000. And that will be our distance in real life. So 5.8 times 5. How do we do 5.8 times 5? 5. 5.8 times 10 is 58. 5.8 times 5 will be half of 58, which is 29. So 5.8 times 5 is 29. And we've got four zeros. So the real distance is 290,000 centimetres. But the question said, give your answer in kilometers. So we can change centimeters to meters by dividing by 100. So we've got 2,900 meters and meters to kilometers. So a thousand meters is a kilometer. So divide by a thousand, 2.9 kilometers. one of these for you to try i will do the measuring so we're going from c to d this time so it looks like we've got 4.2 centimeters so the distance on the map is 4.2 centimeters we've been given the scale Find the real distance between town A and town B. So again, the scale is 1 to 50,000. So we need to multiply 4.2 by 50,000 to get the real distance. The real distance is 50,000 times as much. So 4.2 times 5. 4.2, well, 4.2 times 10 is 42. Half of that is 21. So we've got 21 and then four zeros. 
So we have 210,000 centimeters in real life. If we divide by 100, we can change it to meters. So 2,100 meters and divide by 1,000 to change it to kilometers. So 2.1 kilometers. And one more example. A map has a scale of 1 to 50,000. The real distance between two towns is 15 kilometers. Find the distance on the map between the two towns. Give your answer in centimeters. So this time we're going backwards. We're going from the real life to the map. So we've got 15 kilometers. It'll be easier if we change that into centimeters. So 15 kilometers means 15,000 meters. And to change from meters to centimeters, we times by 100. So that is 1.5 million centimeters. So the distance between the two towns in real life is 1.5 million centimeters. And to go, so if we went from the map to real life, we times by 50,000. We're going the other way. We're going to divide by 50,000. The map is 50,000 times smaller than real life. So we're going to do 1.5 million divided by 50,000. So if we divide top and bottom by 10, by 10 again, by 10 again, and by 10 again, this simplifies to 150 over 5. How many times does 5 go into 150? Well, it goes into 15 three times, so it's 30. So it is 30 centimetres on the map. Here's one for you to try, so give this one a go. A scale drawing of a room is being drawn. The scale is 1 to 40. The real length of the room is 3 meters. Find the length of the room in the drawing in centimeters. So the real length is 300 centimeters. And the drawing is going to be 40 times as small. So we can do 300 divided by 40. So that's the same as 30 over 4, which is the same as 15 over 2, which is the same as 7.5. So it'll be 7.5 centimeters. The scale of 1 to 40 is the same as 7.5 to 300. And to finish up, we've got two questions. So pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one, a model plane has a length of 12 centimeters, and the scale of the model is one to 300. So the real plane is going to be 300 times as big. Find the length of the real plane. So 12 lots of 300. 12, 3 is a 36. Add on the two zeros. So 3,600 centimeters. Or if we wanted to give our answer in meters, we would divide by 100 and get 36 meters. Question two. This accurate drawing shows a man and a tree. The real height of the man is 180 centimetres. Find the real height of the tree. So let's measure the height of the man on the drawing. And that looks like 1.2 1.2 centimetres. So 1.2 centimetres 
on the drawing is 180 centimeters in real life. I'll measure the tree before I do anything else. So the tree is 3.6 centimeters tall. So how tall is the tree in real life? So to go from 1.2 to 3.6, we multiply by three. So the height of the tree is gonna be three lots of 180. So three times 180. So three zeros are zero, three eights are 24. Three ones are three plus on the two, so 540. So the real height of the tree is 540 centimeters or 5.4 meters.